what I say is I'm going to show you a couple demos. Everything we show today is on the live network we launched and Rob just turned the switch on. It's on this commercial product which is the Sierra Wireless, uh, I'll pass this around, you have the right there. Sierra Wireless Rocket Stick and on the commercial LT network, the fastest network in Ottawa, it's the fastest LT network in Canada. Oh, the only LT network in Canada, but the fastest wireless network in Canada. Okay, so I'll pass that around and I'm going to start the demos. So, one of the ways that we, before I begin, I forgot one thing. There's three benefits of LT and Rob touched on this morning. One is improved latency. So the latency, I'm sure you guys all know, latency is the time it takes for the PC to connect to the internet and back to the, the PC. With LT, you get much lower latency, and that helps with things like online gaming, um, interactive things like that. So I don't know if you guys played with the Xboxes this morning, but that's an example of improved latency in an application. The second thing is we're able to give much greater usage and speed to more people in the same geographic area. So we can actually support more customers using higher bandwidth within the same geographic area. And the third thing is we're going to show speed. Speed both on the upload and on the download. Much greater speeds than you'll see in any other wireless network in Canada. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the demos. So this first demo, um, if you look in the top screen, the big screen, it says 512 kilobits per second. This is, you know, this is the speed that you uh, typically would get on a pre-HSPA Plus network. You know, might look good on a smartphone, but not the best on a big screen like this. You can, especially with the sports videos, you can see heavy pixelation, that type of thing, right? I'm going to ask Jeff to uh, bring up the next one, and the next one is streaming at one megabits per second. So this is what typically you might get on a HSPA Plus network. It's double the speed of the previous demo, but not necessarily um, as crisp as you might want to get. It's, it's very it's usable, but especially with, like I said, with the sports, a little bit of pixelation, a little bit of blurriness, but uh, not that bad. We go to two megabits per second. This is probably what the speed you get on TV today. This is standard definition television. Obviously, it's a very usable picture. It's clear, but it's not high HD yet. You see a little bit of pixelation sometimes, but uh, it's you know, standard definition television. I'm going to ask Jeff to bring it up to 4 megabits per second. So this is over LTE obviously, 4 megabits per second, high quality uh, video, 720p right now. You can see, you can see very clear, you know, very clear, the bus is moving, we're streaming the video, very watchable, HD video, very impressive. The next thing is actually more impressive, Jeff, can you expand the screen? So I'm not sure that this is 55 inch TV or 60 inch TV. We're streaming at 1080p over the Rogers LTE network, four megabits per second, beautiful picture quality, no buffering, no stoppage, you know, very usable, moving environment, awesome picture. Where's the stream coming from? So all the streams that we're doing to today, uh, we're bringing off that same rocket stick that I'm passing around. That's the hardware that's doing right. all the streaming, all the demos today. But the source of it is it's the other. It's the other. Core network in Montreal. Yeah, we're it's streaming off the network in Montreal. If you go back to the four screens, so again, what I want to emphasize as well is not only um, is all four of these screens are running off the same rocket stick. So the four megabit one, the two megabit, the one megabit, and the 512 are all running over the commercial hardware that just passed around. And again, you know, shows almost eight megabits of speed, moving environment, uh, high quality video, which you think is a very uh, compelling demo. Can you go uh, to the next demonstration, please, Jeff? Uh, forgive me, what was the 8 megabits? 8 megabits in total, if you look at almost 8 megabits, if you look at the 4 plus oh, the 2 uh, plus sorry. the 1 plus the 5, I my math fell. Sorry, no, no, it's okay, sorry. Almost 8. Okay. So again, what we've done here is we want to show something you could actually do today. You could go to the Rogers On Demand site today, commercial product that we have for thousands of customers. This is a video that's streaming over LTE. Um, if you take a look at the bandwidth, Usage. We were streaming about eight before. That's with the four videos. Right now, we're streaming at about two or three megabits per second. Right now, that's what the demand from the Rogers on Demand site is. So again, very, uh, very clear, great experience over LTE. And one thing that I should mention as well is I talked a bit about latency. So latency again is the time it takes from the command to go to the computer to the network and back. I'm told that anything under 50 milliseconds is considered. Uh, real time. So one of the things that we're measuring here is latency. So the latency that we're seeing right now is about 24, now it's a 31, 27 milliseconds. So that's significantly lower than 50 milliseconds. So 
Again, one of the benefits of LTE, improved latency, you're going to see that in applications, you're going to see that in, in um, real life environments. Uh, sorry, and so what, what's the latency on the HSPA then? I'm told that it's about, uh, it's not, it's about three times uh, more latency on the HSPA Plus network than it is on this network. That's right, right, Wayne? Yep. So again, again, the benefits of LT, low latency, increased bandwidth, which I'm going to show you the speed demo in a few seconds, and much greater usage capacity than is currently available. So the latency on the HSPA network would be roughly 70 to 90. 70 to 90? Okay. Thank you very much. Questions so far before I go to the next demo? No? Okay, Jeff, can we just uh, start to queue up the next demo, please? Sure. So the next demo is the one that you're, I don't want, don't bring it up just right, I want to set it up. So the demo that I want to talk about, again, this is not a lab demo. I know that there's been some of our competitors show speed tests in a lab. We can show the exact same speed test in the lab, but what we really want to show today is a real commercial network where real customers can get so that you guys can see the experience. So again, this is commercial hardware, commercial network, real life experience. So I'm going to ask, uh, Jeff, so you started it. So the first speed test we got was 33 megabits per second download. I don't know which one you're going to use your heart. And the upload, very high upload. This is a massive upload, 22, 20, 22.93. So almost 23 megabits per second on the upload. And the download of the first one is 33 megabits per second. So tremendously fast, much faster than any other wireless network in Canada. The upload is tremendously fast. Users will get great benefit of that. But to be fair, it's an empty network. To be fair, it's an empty network. That's why when we talked about typical speeds, we gave a range of 12 to 25. We, I've seen um, speed tests on here when we're doing the testing at 50. So it depends on many factors. So we try to be very fair and transparent what we expect a typical user to be able to get. And that's what's quoted in the press release today. Okay. Can we use a, like a random mother, like a non-Rogers Can you go to test? speedtest.net? Yeah. Not whatever dot rogers yeah, no, wireless there data. Is, there's things out of our control, right? So you're going to get... No, we understand that, but that's side. what the average person at home is going to do when they, yep. you know. It's just, it's not reflective of what you're going to see on the network. We're trying to demonstrate what the actual network can deliver everything within our control. Right. So we're not going to control the speed test uh, network. So but you're going to be getting rocket sticks in about uh, half an hour, so welcome you to do it. Uh, All right. We welcome you. Probably will. So, <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> And again, one thing I should notice, the latency in both those speed tests, um, 32 milliseconds and 23 milliseconds on the second one. So the first one was 37 and 23. The second one was 33 and almost 24. This one was 23, I'm sorry. We'll do one more. Yeah, 36? Are you going to average them for the site, Howard? Uh, I'm going to go to speedtest.net later and <laughs> do it. In case anyone complains that this is a... Rogers wireless data. You're going to still be in Ottawa, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to be in Ottawa. Hardware. So any questions, guys? I think this shows real network, real life, uh, real hardware. 